When it comes to one of my favorite mammal in ocean, I love the blue whale because they are so huge. How about you? Blue whale are the largest animals to have ever existed. Blue whale is long about 3 school buses and heavy as 15 school buses. Blue whale even outsize 3 dinosaurs. Communicating underwater is challenging. Light and odor don't travel well, so it's hard for animals to see and smell, but sound move about four times faster in water than air. So marine mammals often rely on vocalization to communication. Do you like to sing? Well, if you do, you are like sound girl because they like to sing too. Isn't that cool? Only a few species of whale known to sing. There are fin, bowhead whale, minke whale, and of course, humpback whale. These are all baleen whale which use hairy baleen plate instead of teeth to trap their prey. Meanwhile, tooth whale do use echolocation, and there are other species of bell will make social sounds such as cry whistle to communicate blue will are adapted for very long distance communication if this female is attracted, she could swim to join him in less than 3 weeks. Scientists believe that the ability to communicate on this scale is crucial for females to find the fittest male even if they are half an ocean away. Will exhibit vocal learning, something found in only a small number of species like birds, bat, elephant, dolphin, and some primates. Will can also learn and replicate new sounds they encounter from other whales. Basically, we can learn new words. This ability to manipulate sounds and learn from others has actually made world language differ in different parts of the world, like regional dialects. The dialects are made up of codas, which are specific set of clicks with varying pulses in between that communicate message. And these codas vary based on where the world are from and who they hang out with which the researchers suggest not crossover acquisition. These codas seem to be passed down in communities and altogether make up specific form of language. In a recent study published in Royal Society Open Science, researchers recorded the vocalization of nine different Korean sperm whale groups over the course of six years. By analyzing thousands of recordings, the researchers identified 21 unique codas. Sperm whale outside of the Caribbean produce different codas. Leap out of water is known as breaching. Researchers believe that this behavior is a type of communication and it can also be seen when whales slap their pectoral fin or fin hook onto the water. A team of study hunted whale of the coast of Australia. They found that both sex engaged in breaching and noted that the various techniques are used in a variety of situations. For example, when it's breaching, whale tend to slap their foot. Whereas pectoral slapping is commonly seen when the surrounding environment is windier and therefore noisier. Researchers are still not sure what exactly breaching communicates to other whales, but it may be a sign of aggression or a way to scare school of fish to garner a quick of milk. Do you know
the normal size, the diet is primarily consists of frustration high fuel. The will use lower time to take up a sum of thousand fuel for each new water. The will then push the water out of their mouth through their burning nostrils. The burning nostrils are thin enough to let water through enough to get squeal. Today, nowhere in the southern hemisphere lives separated from those in the northern hemisphere. They spend the summer months in the fruitage polar regions and feed on the abundant dense patches of quail found there to build up a thick layer of fat reserve for winter. At the end of every fall, they begin an up to 5,000 km long migration into warmer, but less is subtropical and tropical water where they breed and give birth. Because the season in the southern hemisphere are offset from those in the northern hemisphere, the migration of their respective global population are similarly offset.